I'm a little bit tired of my decorations in my house and I have this corner here and for months now I've been trying to decide what to do. Now this here is my karaoke machine. I have all my CDs over here and some books over here. I want to rearrange this bookshelf a little bit. I want to add a few more books. My daughter got me this really cute gnome and so that he's staying there this isn't going to change any and in here I forget what's in there I have to look I have some oils in here but I just want to rearrange a few things but this corner here it's a, it's a very high ceiling I have 10 foot ceilings here and up in here I've been thinking about putting some kind of a lamp or something well I don't really want to spend a lot of money and uh, some of the lights are, you know, $50 and up, depending on what you get. So I have a, a little garden lamp that I want. It's still outside. I need to clean it up. But it's a candle holder, and it would fit perfectly right here. But I have to hang it off the ceiling there. So I think that's going to look nice. And today I did order some remote... Uh, little candles so I don't have to keep putting votive candles in there so we'll see what they look like when they get here but they were uh, I think get six of them for $17 and I've really been into the Hooge Hooge lifestyle uh, over the winter here I've been staying home a lot by choice we are not locked down here so anyway, uh, I want to do something with that corner. Then over here, uh, I have, hi, <laughs> I have, um, it's a fake fireplace, but you can also, I have this insert that I put in there years ago, and it, it's a heater too, and it, it also, you can just put on the flame. So I use that an awful lot. Then I have the three votive candles here. I can actually put votive candles in there because this is a steel box because you can burn um, fuel in this fireplace, like the, the gel fuel. So in case of emergencies, I do have a little bit of heat. So, and this candle over here is a battery operated candle it's really nice this is a battery operated candle but I put these mini lights up and of course when I got them hung up the middle started stopped working but it still looks nice the way it is so um, I want to put two of the votive candles that I bought in here usually I put real votive candles in there so I, I just want to change this around just a little bit. Then over here, this is actually a day bed that I keep here in my living room. Just in case somebody wants to spend the night. Or um, I actually put this down here. It used to be upstairs. And I put it down here when I broke my hip. And I used to sleep down here. I kind of lived on the first floor. And as I'm getting older, I'm making plans for when it gets difficult to go up and down the stairs so I have this here but I have all these cushions back here and I want to redo those a little bit especially this one and I want to put new covers on these because they're, they're not they're not cohesive and they're not coordinated but I don't want to spend a lot of money and I do have sheets and things that are similar to this color but I, I'd like to get a little bit of the red and gold in here. So I want to redo that, and I don't want to spend any money on that. Uh, this blanket I've had for years. I have another one of those, and I'll put one over here too. And then over here, I just have... Um, it's a, it's a, a lamp that... Uh, it's, it's real low light, so it's sort of a mood lamp, and these are actually real candles but I may get some more remote candles to stick in there I like in the evening when I'm sitting here I like uh, a lot of uh, mood lighting because it's very relaxing to me 
Okay, over here with my lazy dogs, this is Bandit, he's my boy dog, and this is Lizzie, or Chloe. So, um, they're my little boy, uh, boy and girl dog, and I don't know what happened to Lizzie. Anyway, um, I need to do something else with this couch. I do have some um, quilted uh, bedspreads that I that are plain that I think I want to use at least on the cushions down here because she likes to root around and she's actually made a hole in the pillows. And last year I recovered this back here but it needs some tweaking. I need to take that off and redo it a little bit. So over here I have um, a salt lamp that I keep on uh, all the time and um, I enjoy that, especially in the evening. And then my bookshelf, that, that looks okay the way it is. Uh, over here I have pictures of all the weddings, my, my uh, son, my daughter, um, and when Tom and I got married, there's still a photo of that in there. And then this little love seat is actually in pretty good shape, but I need to clean it. And this needs something too because it's starting to fall apart. I did get this rug a couple months ago, and I got it at Ollie's, and it was actually under $40, and it's a very big rug. I think I paid $39 something for it. So, um, and that goes well with the couch. It's got the gold and brown and green in it, but I do need to recover this because it's looking pretty ragged. So here I'm just making some candles um, from leftovers. Uh, this one, the wick was still good, so I just added a few things. But the thing about these candles, they a lot of times don't burn all the way down once it gets to the metal part of the wick. Uh, so then sometimes I'll just remelt them and put a new wick in. And then uh, I've had this mug warmer for years, and I just discovered this morning that my little teapot fits perfectly on there and it really goes with it too. So this will keep my tea warm. I like my tea in the afternoon and this also fits on here. So I've had this teapot for a very long time and didn't use it and I was going through my cupboards and I thought oh, I'm just going to pull that down and start using it. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm just rearranging a few things in my kitchen. Um, nothing major, but um, just trying to keep things neat. I'm not one to not have anything on my counters because I do cook a lot. So this is my kombucha, and I made pineapple kombucha, and it is so good. So... Um, I, I do have that going here. Now this is the second ferment for this. One is a berry and the other one is the pineapple, but boy is this delicious. And then these are just measuring cups and a, a, a mortar. I have a couple mortars in there for herbs and I keep herbs here and this is my little uh, frothing whisk. And I always keep a little canister of flour on my stove too for thickening gravies or if I'm making sourdough then I can just use that. So it's just a small container. And then I keep my um, Instapot, my Kasori, I keep that out because I do use it a lot. I have more spices over here and I have different flavored oils here. This is a lemon oil. It's great for um, fish-like dishes since I don't eat fish, but I've been experimenting with a lot of different seitan recipes. So I want to try and make that, and here I just keep my measuring cups and masher and just things that I use all the time. My spoons, I have a little garlic container here, and different flavored salts and a tiny mortar and pestle. And right there is my gnome that I got from Life with Patty. If you've never watched her channel, she was, um, she and I were like our first uh, subscribers. 
and she sent me that a couple years ago, and uh, I really enjoy it. Okay, so do yourself a favor and go check out my friend Patty at Life with Patty. If I get around to it and remember, <laughs> I will stick a link to her channel in the description box below. Over here, I keep an array of knives. This was actually a jewelry hanging thing behind this sign here, which is a little chalkboard sign. It has all these little divots for earrings. Well, I didn't need it for that. And I actually put this on. That was a totally separate purchase. And um, I just stuck that on there because I thought it looked cute. And it's got these little hanger things. So I have this little tiny rolling pin that I keep there. I keep these knives, and these are self-sharpening knives. They they have the um, the um, the sheath that helps sharpen the knives. Not all of them. Some of them just have have a sheath on them. And then I keep all my whisks and uh, measuring spoons. I have some more here just for decorations. I really don't measure with those, but uh, yeah. So that I keep there, and then I have this conglomeration of cords here for my camera and my phone to charge my phone and I have a couple of other little things that I charge there so what I did with this I, I still have to make it look a little prettier but what I did is I took bread ties and I just stuck bread ties uh, throughout just to keep them together so this way I can just kind of roll them up and um, I think I'm just going to put them back here, though, and to make it look a little nicer. So that's that. In the kitchen, I'm not going to do too much more. And I, I have all these cutting boards that I've had for years. And eventually down the road, I want to get a, a, like a acacia, I think that's how you pronounce it, tree countertops. But for now, I just have the butcher block and bamboo. So I use these, and then here I just have a little cart. Now this cart was only this big when I first got it, <clears throat> and I had this real big butcher block cutting board, so Tom came over and he, he rigged this so that I can actually um, put these two side uh, butcher block uh, cutting boards they were not originally on there. So he put those on there for me and then he made this little contraption that folds up like this. And so I have more counter space then. And this comes out, I'll see if I can do this with one hand. This comes up and then this comes out oh, somehow. All right, I can't do it with one hand, but anyway, it comes out and then it looks like this. So, you know, if you have things around your house, I mean, I had all these things around my house. I didn't have to purchase anything except I did get these two pieces of wood and the, um, the hinges. So, you know, if you have things around your house that, that you're not using, uh, think about maybe making something else with them. So that's what I did. Here I have more knives, and I've gotten rid of a lot of knives, but yes, I have a lot of knives. And here, these are more self-sharpening knives. And I do sharpen my knives all the time. I have a little knife sharpener, and it keeps them really sharp, because these are cheap knives. These are not expensive knives. They were each, maybe, they. I know they were under $5. And in here, I keep a lot of my um, choppers. I have a couple different ones, so I keep those in there. And uh, yeah, it's packed full, but you know, it's all useful. So I would keep those. And then over here, I got this Berkey a couple years ago. And uh, I just have never put it together. It's, it's a travel Berkey because 
it's just me and my grandson and I don't want the water to sit in there um, so I, I just got the small one because I want to use the water all the time so I had this it's actually a candle holder it, it's like a bowl and because the spigot is very low you'd either have to put it on the edge of something but I found this in my basement and I thought I wonder if my Berkey would fit on there so anyway I brought it up here and uh, I do have the bowl still in there I don't know if I'm going to leave that there I have to see how heavy this gets when there's water in there because I still have to finish setting it up you have to prime the uh, the filters and all that which I haven't gotten around to doing but actually the diameter of the Berkey is exactly the same as the wrought iron so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the um, keep the um, glass bowl in there or not and in here I, I just bought this little thing I think I got it at Dollar General and I had an old picnic basket that I keep on the bottom and then these I think I got from Aldi's they they come out with these every now and then and I just have um, kitchen utensils and things in there and then uh, I have this um, this cabinet this is my sort of a shrine to my little dog and cat that are no longer with me and then I keep wine glasses up here and this lights up which is really nice so um, that's that but I'm trying to use actually start using things that I bought and rather than having them sit in a box somewhere and really that was a waste of money if I don't use it so over here I have my canisters and they're they go with my dishes and rather than keeping them empty I actually do use them flour sugar uh, salt and uh, I forget what's in the other one so uh, I do use those this cabinet has most of my cookbooks and I, I do have a lot of cookbooks I'll show you okay so this cabinet is uh, dedicated to all my cookbooks and believe it or not I have purged this a couple times I got rid of cookbooks that were more uh, um, meat based so oh there she blows and I kept the vegan and vegetarian ones uh, there's healing teas um, making breads all kinds of different cookbooks in here and I really enjoy having cookbooks I like reading them it's it's actually entertainment for me and I get a lot of cooking ideas I very rarely follow a recipe but I get a lot of ideas of mix and match that I can do for doing my own thing so over here I just wanted to show you a little bit about the kind of bottles I like to keep and save so this comes from a Gerard's um, dressing that I like and I keep a couple of these on hand um, for when I make my own dressings because I the bottles interesting and I like it and if you have guests over it's it's just a little nicer than just putting out you know a store-bought bottle and then these I like to keep um, for my second ferment of the kombucha these are nice thick bottles and uh, actually juice came in these originally so I keep uh, several of those on hand and every now and then I have to go through and purge my bottles but and then uh, these Tom likes to drink instant coffee so whenever uh, he gets one of these I ask him to keep those for me and he brings them over but I think it's a very interesting shape I like to, it's something that you can keep out or in your cupboard and um, I, I keep things like starch in there and different uh, products that I buy in bulk and I think they're attractive and the nice thing is you know they all have 
a cohesive black top. So um, these are the kind of bottles that I save, and I do save a lot of those little candle bottles that I get from Dollar Tree. But um, anyway, let me move this aside. Okay, so over here, these are appliances that I have out all the time. I just got this soda maker. It's an Elmate. I haven't tried it yet. I just got it set up. But it's got the, I think, 6 liter um, cabinet in the back here for uh, the CO2. And like I said, I haven't tried it yet. I'll do a little review on that. It's, it's not sponsored or anything, but I picked this one because not only does it uh, fizz water, you can fizz juice or wine or any beverages. You can't do that apparently with all of them. So that's why I picked this and I think it was like $79 and I don't drink pop, but I've kind of been missing a fizzy drink every now and then so that's why I got that and my grandson he does drink pop so yeah, he can use it too and I don't know off the top of my head how many things this will fizz but and it's nice looking and it I, I chose the gray because it goes with the rest of my appliances but it comes in red and uh, I think pink I'm not sure but I got it on Amazon so I just got this and uh, had some extra Christmas money and I thought that would be a good way to spend it. This is my air fryer and I can also use this as a, um, a dehydrator and it came with a spit if I want to do something like french fries in a spit and it comes with two racks and it's a Chefman and I got this at... Uh, Ollie's again. So, and that was $99, and I've had that for a while now. So, I really like using it. It does a great job, and uh, it has different functions. You can uh, make French fries and all, all kinds of things pizza and fish. And the reason I pick this one, you can uh, adjust the temperature. And the time up here, it has a wheel, and then you just push the start button. And this isn't sponsored either, but when I find an appliance that I like, I like to share that. So, and it's a good size. And, uh, yeah, I really like it. So, um, that was a good purchase. And then here, I've had this a long time. It's... Uh, and I think I got this at Ollie's too. It's it's just a glass uh, water heater, and it does heat the water up very quickly. And then of course I have my little coffee station over here. I just you reuse nut containers and label them with chalkboard. I have regular and decaf coffee. I keep sugar in here. And uh, then I have these drawers that I actually got at Target years ago, and it keeps quite a bit of coffee. I keep tea here, and these little tea, I don't know what you'd call them, uh, for used tea bags. And then I, I keep my syrups right here, and uh, I want to look into getting a little bit fancier bottled, so maybe I'll use one of those salad dressing bottles. But anyway, um, that is my little appliance place. Okay, so I got this set up with my two hands, and as you can see, it, it makes quite a bit more counter space, which is nice because it's right next to the stove. And this is on wheels too, so I can move it around if I need to. But um, so if you don't have a lot of counter space, you could think about, you know, getting a little cabin. And this, this was cheap. I don't even, I've had it for years. I don't even remember where I got it. So another thing that I keep handy, and I can either leave this here because it fits right on top, or uh, I can move this over to where my sink is. It just takes a second, and then I also have more counter space to work, and I'll show you that. What 
how I do that in a second here. So over here, I have a dish drainer that I keep here all the time. I've had this for years. And I was looking through one of my um, cabinets and I found it and I haven't actually used it. I can't remember why I switched it around. But it's really great for washing veggies and you can let them dry in there. And then under here, I got this sink years ago. And under here, I keep my uh, sponge and that container right there. I put in my uh, veggie scraps and save them to put into my composter. But this, when I don't have dishes in there, I take that cutting board that I just showed you and it fits right over there and it actually expands the area that I have for working in my kitchen. And this cutting board, if I need more space and I'm not using my stove, this one will fit over here. And then I have a lot of counter space to work for when I'm chopping or baking. And uh, it, it all goes very compact when I'm not using it. So, um, I don't know, I guess I have a thing for cutting boards. <laughs> but that's why my countertops that are 20 years old almost look as good as they do because I protect them. This I got at Ikea and it was like, I want to say $20, very cheap. But this is bamboo and it's a really nice uh, piece. It sort of just fits over the edge of the countertop. And then what I did, I took some of that sticky tack and I put some of that on there and it, it doesn't move. It's like having a new countertop. So that's my kitchen and uh, I have a microwave that's also uh, a convection oven because during the holidays sometimes you want to bake a pie and you're making whatever it is. If you make a roast, you make a roast. So that uh, is in there, but I actually use my stove most of the time for storage and I keep my um, cast iron pans in there, my uh, uh, clay baker, just baking things. and So I just keep those in there because I really don't use my oven. It costs too much to um, heat that big thing up all the time, so I usually basically use that during the holidays. So what I do use all the time is my toaster oven and, uh, and then I keep my toaster up above it. Uh, my toaster oven, I have a pan in there if I want to make a, a sheet cake or anything like that. So I have a bunch of different uh, toaster oven size uh, kitchen bakeware and I just keep that in there and then I just take it out when I'm using it. But the toaster, I use that a lot too. And um, so I just keep that above the toaster oven. And this thing gets a lot of use. And of course, um, if I want to take something out of there, I have this tempered glass. It's actually a cutting board, but I can put hot things on here and I won't ruin my counter. Because like I said, my counter is in beautiful condition and it's almost 20 years old. So anyway, that's a tour of my kitchen. Um, under here, I just keep my garbage can. Nothing exciting there, my extra garbage bags. Over here, I have a Dollar Tree little basket and a couple of uh, hooks, the uh, command hooks, and I just keep extra brushes in there. And over here, I have a big, huge, lazy Susan with all of my cleaning things. <clears throat> and I believe I got that, I can't remember if it was at Walmart or Bed Bath & Beyond. I've had that since I moved in here, so a very long time. So anyway, um, that's a little tour of my kitchen. Over here I have some cheerful plants and it's been snowing outside 
and my little Joy Angel, since my daughter's name is Joy. And it's Joy Remains Forever in Your Heart. And so that is a little tour of my kitchen. <clears throat> and when it's cold like this outside, I just like to putz around in my house and rearrange things and purge things and look for things that I can use for something else. So if you don't have a lot of counter space, um, think about other ways that you can uh, get counter space. If you live in a small house or, um, I don't know, when I had this house built, uh, I really, this was sort of the way the model kitchen was, and I really didn't think about uh, too much. I Instead of having a lot of counter space, I had a big pantry for floor to ceiling almost put in just for extra storage. So uh, I did lose some counter space there, but the counter space is all the way over on the other side of the sink, which doesn't do me much good. So what I needed was more counter space around my stove area where I cook. So that's what I came up with. And uh, it's working very well for me. It's worked for me for years. But every now and then when I get a new kitchen appliance, because I am a kitchen appliance addict, um, uh, I have to rearrange things because if I don't leave some of my appliances out on the counter, I won't use them because it's just too much bother. So, and then again, that's a waste of money. So anyway, that's... Um, my kitchen tour and I just wanted to share that with you and some of the things that I use and reuse and um, if you don't have a lot of money that's probably the best way to go. What are your ideas? What are some of the things that you do in your house that helps you either expand your space, your storage space, or that helps you to um, uh, have a more organized house, leave us a comment below because we can learn from each other. And that's always a great thing when you have a community of really lovely people like we have here. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and commenting. It helps the uh, YouTube algorithm push more of my videos out for other people to view. So it's very important for me, and if you could kindly do that, I would very much appreciate it. So anyway, uh, that's all I have for you. Don't forget, uh, if you have the mind to, go check out my friend uh, Patty at Life with Patty. She uh, does cooking and some uh, purging videos, and she's just a really delightful gal. I think you'll really like her. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys. I want to wish you abundant blessings, and I'll see you next time.